Greeting ladies and gentlemen, I am Ton Chandra of Cambodia. Now I am at the Boko Mountain on the trip uh, organized by the Club of Cambodian Journalism. Uh, with me here is Mr. Poiki, the club president. So today he gonna uh, outline his uh, club policy on how to promote uh, tourism in uh, Cambodia. Uh, Mr. Poiki, uh, the first question. Uh, why you choose Boko as the I mean, destination uh, to organize this trip? Uh, well, you know, the Club of Cambodian Journalists uh, organizes the regular uh, trips to different provinces and cities and other uh, tourism sites. And Boko Mountain is chosen one of uh, those potential sites. The reason is that uh, Boko is one of the rare uh, uh, places uh, in Cambodia. Uh, actually, there are three uh, uh, zones or three uh, sites that either Cambodian tourists or foreign tourists, they can go and enjoy with very uh, uh, good weather, which is called like uh, cool weather. So in Cambodia, if you want to enjoy that kind of uh, comfortable weather, either you have to go to a quite far uh, in uh, northeastern part of Cambodia in Mundulkiri province, or either you go to uh, Kirirom in Kampong Spu province. And Boko, of course, is one of them. Uh, it's, uh, it's on the uh, highland area. Uh, here I can say that, that there are three uh, seasons in one day. Uh, it's hot, it's cold, and also with fog. Uh, Sometimes, you know, uh, and, and rainfall as well. So, so it's very, very special to, uh, place. Uh, first is high, second, the, uh, the, uh, the air itself is also fresh. So it's good uh, for those who have like uh, resp respiratory uh, problem. So this is part of a healing process for, for tourists. Uh, like you said, uh, we have uh, many uh, places like in the northeastern of Mundulgiri and Boko here. So what is the next plan for the club? I mean, where, where are you going to take us? Uh, uh, the I, I could recall that uh, first I took a very uh, big uh, team almost like uh, 40 uh, journalists for the first time to see Anukwil province, also to spot, to highlight about the uh, potential tourism sites. Because in Sihan Will alone, you know, not only on the mainland uh, in the city, but also many, many islands, more than 30 islands in Sihan Will. And then the second one, I took journalists to uh, Siem Reap, mm -hmm. then to Kaep. So this is number four in uh, Boko Mountain. Uh, then the next one, we plan to go uh, somewhere in northwest of Cambodia. Uh, that's north quite north. far. That will be uh, Posat province. That's also one of the uh, famous places uh, for uh, Cambodian people that they want to enjoy with uh, 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 a new uh, nature, also mountainous area and also big lake over there. So these are the, uh, uh, I mean, we try to change from place to place, from uh, time to time, so that uh, journalists have a mix of feeling, a mix of uh, ideas and, and how to brainstorm with some, uh, you know, storytelling to the uh, Cambodian people and as well as foreign tourists. Uh, the club has uh, been taken uh, media member to uh, many uh, the places like the seaside in the sea and the wheel to Cap and uh, Sim Reap. And uh, do you think I mean such a trip have I mean re uh, achieved the expectation of the club in in order to promote of uh, tourism in uh, Cambodia? Uh, first, uh, media play very important role in any society. Play very very important role. It's an echo. It's echo. You know, when you release one story then your audience is gone, let's say, either 1,000, tens of thousands, or even up to millions of people, depending on the content of the story. So we understand the only way in order to promote tourism sites in Cambodia. So why not we uh, let Cambodian journalists do it instead of waiting for foreign uh, journalists to come and do the job in the state of Cambodian. So this is why the Club of Cambodian Journalists uh, try to, uh, uh, you know, uh, get this uh, to make it happen. And, and that, this is also the opportunity for Cambodian uh, journalists to know, you know, all the tourism, tourism sites in Cambodia. Because tourism is one of the um, major incomes for Cambodia, yeah, yeah. in addition to agriculture, to government sector, so on and so forth. So, uh, what, uh, what about the I mean, the expectation of the club. Do you think throughout the journey so far, do you think the club has achieved its goal in promoting the, uh, the tourism? You know, every trip, every trip, not less than 100 articles of video uh, released. After that, you know, we got a lot of reaction. 
uh, that CCJ Club of Cambodian journalists doing good job. And why not come to our province? Why not come to our city? So this is the uh, a call from a governor, a call from senior official, a call from company owner from different places. So this is what we understand that our role is even more and more important. And that's why, you know, becoming a kind of routine that we have to uh, uh, make it. So the, co the cooperation between the media and the local authority is uh, significant in promote, uh, promoting uh, tourism destinations. So the how, how important is it? Exactly, you know, without cooperation from local authority, without cooperation from provincial authority, the owner of those places, it's impossible for Club of Cambodian Journalists to go and, you know, uh, highlight and uh, you know, uh, uh, shooting uh, videos and photos, and of course, interview uh, uh, the stakeholders involved uh, in the area and also the, the place itself. So that we continue to call on all authorities, provincial uh, governors and uh, city mayor, so and so forth, please continue to cooperate with Club of Cambodian Journalists wherever we go. Just, just uh, you know, try to uh, give us the a, a opportunity to cooperate well, so that our uh, uh, mission is successful and smooth. So this is what we, we we want, and in return, you will get a good image about your place, about your province, about your city. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So okay. So and that's it for the today conversation. And thank you, Mr. Quicky, for your time explaining us. Uh, the policy of the club and how the club uh, play uh, the role and the media, uh, the role of media in promoting uh, tourism in Cambodia. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.